Hello, Valley Forge Class of 2020, and welcome to the 58th commencement of Valley Forge High School. This is our first ever, and hopefully our last, virtual commencement. Words cannot express what an incredibly crazy end of a senior year you all have had. Even though you were not able to have the traditional end of the year experiences, we hope that we've been able to provide you with happy memories from our senior parade and recognition, as well as our very individualized graduation ceremony. I'm so proud of this class. Never before has a group of students been asked to overcome as many obstacles as you have. Through it all, you relied on the lessons you have learned for how to persevere, how to problem solve, and how to pick yourselves up and figure out how to get the job done. You have been exemplary leaders for our underclassmen, and you have shined a very bright light for us to follow. As you move on to the next chapter of your lives, I want you to reflect on all the bright spots and also the struggles that you experienced through your schooling. Reflect on the lessons you learned for how to overcome adversity how to treat people the right way, and how to always do the very best that you can. These are the things that will lead you to success throughout your life. I wish you all nothing but the very best. You will always be a part of the Valley Forge family. We will miss you, but look forward to hearing about the great things that you will accomplish. Good luck to all of you, and never forget, once a patriot, always a patriot. It is now my privilege to introduce this year's commencement speakers. Speakers were chosen by the Senior Advisory Board. It is my pleasure to present to you our first speaker, David Savchuk. Dear Class of 2020, life really has it out for us, doesn't it? I think you all can agree we could have never seen an ending like this. Though times seem tough, I know there is a protection over us all. As many of you, including myself, are feeling down and are questioning why this is happening to our class, let me just tell you, if there is any class that could handle being born in a time of tragedy and graduating in a worldwide pandemic, it is the class of 2020. The class of 2020 includes some of the most strong-willed, determined, and resilient people I've ever seen. Your passion for what you believe in is truly amazing. Seeing my classmates grow up for the past four years has truly been a joyful experience. I'm so thankful I got the opportunity to grow up alongside all of you, and I'm truly honored to be standing here today. The memories I've made with you, I will hold close to my heart. And not to forget, my utmost gratitude and thanks to the staff and administration of our school district. I'm sure many can agree, you make me proud to be a student of this school. You have all shaped us and your tireless efforts to get us through our tough times truly made a difference. We couldn't have done it without you. The future is bright for the class of 2020, for our experiences have made us all so strong. I know in my heart that this generation of physicians, scientists, engineers, technicians, leaders, and so much more will be some of the most strongest people yet. Each of your testimonies are truly a gift, and I implore you all, don't be afraid to voice them out. Each of you is a gift to your country and your community. One of my favorite traits of my classmates that I've noticed is their ability to make good out of any situation. My word of advice to all of you and to anyone who is listening, don't take this time as a burden but as a blessing, each of your experiences 
have made you tougher and wiser. I know your resilience will guide you through the rest of your lives. So lean on what is true. Keep your chin up, class of 2020. You are truly an inspiration to us all. Thank you. Our second speaker is Victoria Paravaznik. Today is the day. Within the years we spent at this high school, we've grown and developed through many things. Basic procrastination, high school drama, broken relationships, etc. We lost family members and lifelong friends, along with classmates and familiar faces. Still, we are able to be here today and present ourselves as high school graduates and accomplished students. We would like to say thank you to everyone who has provided us with advice, strength, and guidance these last few years. I would also like to thank everyone I've had the opportunity to interact with, whether good or bad. Our moments have impacted me as a person, and this rings true for all members of our class. Every one of you has been critical in empowering us to be where we are today. We are beyond grateful for our promoters and cheerleaders for continuous support and encouragement throughout the years. Our world has changed drastically these past few months, from hugs and handshakes to six foot distance and face masks, from whiteboards and in-person lectures to Google Classroom and Zoom calls. The most important thing we should all be thankful for is our health and well-being. We refuse to lose sight of what we have worked so hard for. Spring is typically the most exciting and memorable time period for high school seniors, and we are sure to never forget this. We have adapted. We are flexible and understanding. We are connecting in ways that we never thought to before and transitioning to a digital lifestyle. We are multi-talented, resourceful, and strong individuals. Within these unprecedented circumstances, we have thrived. We have and will continue to persevere in the future. We are a part of his history, born into a vulnerable world after 9-11, involved in multiple paradigm shifts, and entering into adulthood during a pandemic. We were born into a new century so we can pave our way into a brighter tomorrow. We are entering into a new era post-pandemic. We will reform the world around us. We will ameliorate everything from economics and governance to education and technology. We can better communicate with the people around us. We will improve our infrastructure and resources to pre better prepare our planet for uncertainty and disaster. We will enhance and redefine all of every sector of society. We are resilient, we have grit. We are the class of 2020. We should want to embrace all of life's experiences, good and bad, and we will do just that in the future. We will continue to develop, flour flourish, and thrive. There is no pandemic strong enough to stop us. Our last speaker is Bon Iden. Hi. To the senior class of 2020, congratulations. You have made it through 12 years of school without giving up. It seems like a lifetime filled with the laughter, challenges, and experiences that have helped us grow. Maybe you've had dreams where you will pursue higher education to a distinguished position after graduation to be a doctor or engineer. Maybe you dreamed of working in a field where you use the skills you've learned in school, like a carpentry or dental technology. And how would you begin to make our dreams to come life to life? It starts with the first steps. As members of the class of 2020, we can lead the world towards a brighter tomorrow. Our success and achievement in high school have been cheered and celebrated, and we see the results. No one can hide the light. If you feel like you haven't found your success yet, remember that your journey starts with one step. My advice to you is not to weaken or give up. You, ha you must have the will and strength to fulfill the dreams that you once had. I hope that as we continue our path of success, your dreams will remain and continue to grow and flourish. As we begin this new journey, we will miss each other, but I hope we can continue to cheer each other on to success. Certainly, we will miss the school days and the activities that we were involved in together, such as sports, music, etc. We will even miss some of our silly moments, like those during Spirit Week, the Pepper Rally's homecoming and winter formal. 
We have finished the first stage of our studies and beginning to develop our ambitions. We have moved to the next stage of our development where we have to begin obtain our ambitions and assume leadership of society in all its fields. As we begin this next stage, I would like to say that remember, when you graduate, you complete the current school level, but the quest for knowledge does not end. The Senior Advisory Board has again invited a faculty speaker this year. It is a reflection of Mr. Hartel's excellent guidance, caring, and positive relationships he builds with students that he was asked by the class to speak. Mr. Hartel. All right. Hello and greetings to the class of 2020. You all look absolutely incredible sitting in this auditorium today. It's just how I've always dreamed of giving this commencement speech to this group of seniors. So let me be honest here. At this point, I am truly hopeful that you, the graduate, or your son or daughter are not sitting there in your living room watching the TV saying, oh, God, it's hard to tell. Just fast forward this part. So before I delve too far in my speech, first let me give out some thank yous. First, I have to thank the Senior Advisory Board as a whole, and specifically President and Valley Forge golf legend Olivia Nelson for putting me in this position. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you would elect me to give your last high school lesson. And not only that, give me a reason for leaving the house for the first time in months. Also, I would like to thank Dr. Smilek as well as our administration team for giving us this opportunity to still have a commencement. We have the best administrative team in the district. So, um, with that said, I also really want to give a heartfelt thank you to our group of seniors' parents. You guys did an absolutely unbelievable job. You can ask teachers all around this building, and I truly, truly mean this, it's the same resounding sentiment. This class, this group of kids, these kids are so amazingly special. So, now that I've covered all of those niceties, let's get to the real reason that you put me up here. So let's start the roast session. Mike Pappas? No, that's a joke, I'm just kidding. So Mike, if you're at home watching this, you can breathe, just relax. I'll get you at another time. So as I previously said, today's speech is all about lessons. But this time, I'm not going to make you create a rap video uh, like Jordan and Julia's Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass. I'm not going to make you play a review game that results in utter chaos where a principal or a teacher is going to have to come to my room and go, shh. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to make you do a web quest or, or a worksheet. Uh, where we just kind of listen to Jake, uh, you know, sing under his uh, breath, do you come from a land down under? No, I am positive that you remember all of the lessons that I taught you, very, very intently listening, so I'm positive that you got every word. My goal here today is to give you something much more crucial than that, and that is life advice. So here is my true life advice. First tip, if you want people to really listen to you, really listen to your stories, and actually here, try leading with this. Now, I shouldn't be telling you this, but if you start every story like that, everybody will always listen. I've fallen for it thousands of times. Your second tip, this is a real life tip. If somebody's got something stuck in their teeth, say something. Yes, it's awkward, it's extremely awkward, but there is nothing worse than coming home at the end of a long day, looking in the bathroom mirror and going, oh my God, who saw me with that chunk of pizza in my teeth all day? My third life lesson is this. You're only allowed to ask what twice before you probably just have to nod your head and smile. Any more than twice is excessive and people won't want to talk to you anymore. My fourth tip, when in doubt, mumble. People hate to ask what and Lord knows they're not allowed to ask it more than twice in a row. And my fifth and final tip, and this is key for this class, now that you have graduated, just remember, bosses do not accept notes from your parents, grandparents, or guardians. Believe me, I wish they would. Now, with all of those said, I don't think I could stand up here and do the job I was supposed to do without giving you, the class of 2020, some truly specific advice. 
But before I get to that advice, I know that I must address the elephant in this empty room. We have lots of misses as a group. We have missed prom. We have missed Mr. Patriot. We have missed sports games, club meetings, and even a true commencement. But let's be real here. Those events are not what we truly miss. What we truly miss is being together at those events. We miss Cheese, Maria, and Willow getting that dance just right for their flopped TikTok video. We miss watching what would have been our Valley Forge staff dominate the DECA class in the student staff basketball game. The Monday morning meetings about the weekend at the Patriot House. I will always personally miss those conversations with all of those seniors. Just like when Brianna or, or, or Alyssa or Dominic or Carly or Logan would stop by and so many others and tell me about their day, tell me about their life, or tell me about their dreams and hopes for the future. What we all truly miss is being together. The quarantine flipped our world upside down. We live in a world that has been dominated for months by a Tiger King, by a Savage Dance, and some girl named Charlie D'Amelio, I think. But at the same time, this quarantine is what is really giving you the best life advice. If I have learned one lesson from this awful thing, it is that we need to start truly appreciating the time that we spend together because you have no idea when that's gonna get cut off or the next time that you'll see that person again. Life is not about Instagram followers and life is not about TikTok likes. Life is about being surrounded with people that you care for and that you care about. Appreciating, caring, and watching out for each other and spending quality time together. Nobody will ever look back on your life and remember a Snapchat streak that lasted a thousand days or, or a post that got tons of likes. What will be remembered are the memories that you've made with others and how others remember you in their memories. The late, great Kobe Bryant once said, it's the one thing that you can control. You are responsible for how people remember you or don't. So don't take it lightly. How I will remember this class will never change. You are the best. And you watching and, and right now seeing this, you know that I truly mean that. But you are now entering a new chapter of your life. And as you go forward, don't settle for going through the motions. Don't let days just pass you by. Don't take experiences and things that you do on a daily basis for granted. Don't sit back and count days down. Actually make days count. You are set to embark on some of the best years of your life. And my best life lesson to you is this. Do not let time slip by. We only get one shot at this, so make it meaningful and make it memorable. Andy Bernard from The Office once said, I wish there was a way of knowing that you were in the good old days before you've actually left them. Well, kids, you are about to enter a whole new phase of good old days. Appreciate that time and those experiences. Class of 2020, you are incredibly special and incredibly special to me. I can never put into words the appreciation that I have for all the memories that you have given me over these last five years. Trust me, and I really, really mean this, you will never, ever just be remembered as that quarantine year, but rather as the group that left such a positive legacy at Valley Forge and one of, if not, the greatest class to ever walk these halls. I wish the class of 2020 and these amazing group of kids the best of luck. And truly, I can't wait to see you all at the 10 year reunion because Lord knows I'm crashing that thing. Hartel out. At this time, Olivia Nelson will lead you in the turning of your tassels.
students, on behalf of the Valley Forge teachers and staff, I wish you the very best in everything that you do. To our Board of Education members, I present to you the 58th graduating class of Valley Forge High School, the class of 2020. I certify that those receiving diplomas have fulfilled the graduation requirements of the Parma City School District and the state of Ohio. In doing so, it is my honor to officially declare you graduated with all accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Blythe Tischer. Dylan Gilo. Ivan Nesterak. Sahaj Walia. Ari Lopez. Caitlin Rao. Caitlin Mobley. Deborah Vega. John Bowling. Richard Kalashevsky. Alexandria Sisnik. Mohammed Aldur, Khaled Aldur, William Thomas, Maria Ramirez. Jensen Hewlett. Justine Hewlett. Emma Boach. Damien Talavera. <laughs> Derek Burke. Melanie Soapcheck. Sarah Semro. Isaiah Kammer. Sonny Diocarin. Carly Walzak. Romello Davis. Hey, 
Cameron Hearn. Gabriel Carter. Gary Carter. Shannon Thrasher. Sean Hafes. <laughs> Sanchez Perry. Gavin Devers. Hayden Devers. Joseph Blatnick. Zachary Kruger. Ryan Sassina. Jenna Wayland. Sam Ramos. Madison Wilk. Victoria Paravasnik. Yusra Al Tahar. Elise Valley. Zoe Sham. Megan Everett. Rachel Everett. Jenna Sipple. Jacob Coons. James Brickenden. Jasmine Scullin.
Olivia Nelson. Dominic Cusera. <laughs> Arwad El Alami. <laughs> Jamal Zayed. Ashley Marchese, McKenna Green, Dylan Toller. Adriana Cantu. Alyssa Chai. Kelsey Williams. Taylor Runneth. Julia Ventura. Kristen Miller. Sitlali Moreno. Madeline Browning. Claire Menick. Zachary Jarvis. <laughs> Isabella Magistro. Justin Balo, Alyssa Holton, Nicholas Donahue. Reed Laddick. Todd Foster. Shane Motley.
Jacob Van Neel. Aiden Winland. Kylie Barnett. Hui Pham. Chloe Griffin. Michaelo Tarakoff. Christopher Dalit. Michaela Bembry. Janie Cruz Santana. Genevieve Contra. Kasia Gray. Chase Rieger. Isaac Rankin. Thomas Burak. <laughs> Nico Tomaselli. Franklin Kurt. Sinan Syed. Christian Parazoli. Elise Mora. Joshua Mora. <laughs> David Rodriguez Dickerson. <laughs> Haley Beach. Daniel Banovic. Andrew Chisnell. Carly Sakura.
Robert Benick Jr. Natalie Cole. Callista Tabar. Logan Sass. Jagger Paskett. Jarrett Paskett. Michael Pappas. Daniel Jocelson. Joshua Jones. Jalen Robinson. Lilu D. Rivera. Natalie Lungo. Mackenzie Anderson. Cole Fullerton. Abigail Hathaway. Judy Schmidt. Jaralis Vargas. Santino Casola. Gabrielle Jordan. Destiny Kessel. Ariana Warren. Gabriel Papke. Christian Park. Alex Barton. <laughs> Michael Yuzva.
Tatiana Burasik. Brianna Johnson. Logan Hardy. Trey Richardson. Caroline Rizzuto. Alexis Smith. Brian Seda. Sean Capchu. Caitlin Pinner. Kaylee Costura. Haley Lafarette Look Rutkowski. Allison Shaira. Amira Shoop. Andrew D'Angelo. Emily Iarillo. Aliyah Shimada. Kara Matthews. Mitchell Mann. Jessica Opria. Molly Beyer. Karen Homza. Catherine Rybeck. Haley Andrak. Sin Chu Lee. James Fola.
Anthony McGee. Hunter Mead. Renee Thomas. Kara Stevens. Charlinette Rodriguez Santiago. David Savchuk. Nicholas Lianza. Matthew Eberling. Joseph Cessna. Kara Laboda. Chase Day. Caitlin Chimakella. Regina Coleno. Brooklyn Bartow. Jennifer Barry. Caitlin Haberly. Alexis Figler. Jaden Martin. <laughs> Nolan Light. Caitlin Sudi <laughs> Nigin Amadi <laughs> Ban Aiden. Madeline Hurst. Angelina Carte. Christian Snyder. Juan Win Mark Pfizer Junior
Patrick Falkowski. David Sarian. Robert Mattis the third. Ryan Mattis. Richard Linville the second. <laughs> Isabella Zabo. Joshua Morales. Anisim Potteret. Justin Swanberg. Christopher Hine. Anna Marsick. Brandon Crace. Madison Wargo. Hia Patel. Jordan Anthony. Maria Firestein. Brandon Borchert. Malik Williams. Congratulations, Malik. Sherry Zhang. Kenny Wynn. Abdel Bayezad. Agim Merlika. Vishan Wilson. Micah Coleman. <laughs> Taylor Thatcher. <laughs> Kayla Cuchera.
Ava Workman. <laughs> Jalen Tenbrook. M. Powers. Jacob Hamilton. <laughs> Brianna Lavdis. <laughs> Willow Reddish. Jade Ryan. Tyler Gold. Logan Zimmer. Analia Baez. <laughs> Benjamin Vassal. Haley Quinn. Vita Davis. Jeffrey Kubis. Ryan Timms. Jonathan Shrewan. Channing Corbin. Isaiah Torres. Kelsey Lee. Caden Baylog. Harut Menchian. Emily Abraham. Dimitro Hunchak. Jennifer Anderson. Kevin Wade. Juliana De Jesus, D. 
Divinity Smith. Genesis Malpica. Nicholas Burchett. Jordan Howard. Joshua Whiteman. Ashley Meister. Trenton Hampton. <laughs> Amy Autumn Zink. Murad Lasheb Emily Nornberg Yanli Hernandez Silva Naomi Zastadil. Annabelle Smith. Stephanie Dress. Brianne Clark. Emily Rivera.